Hello and welcome to Booja Book. Today I'm going to be showing you spreads for students. The first spread I'm showing you is an assignment tracker that I actually use myself. It, I use it to keep a good oversight of what I need to do each week because I have weekly things for every class. So that means it's really easy for me to just have an overview of everything I need to do, everything I have done, where I'm kind of falling behind and where I'm on schedule. All I'm doing is drawing a bunch of columns and rows, one for each week and one for each class. And then in the boxes I fill in what assignments or essay I need to do for every week. Then when you're done, you can color it in and then you have a nice overview of everything you need to do. As I said, I use this myself. It helps me a lot because I get very stressed when I don't know what to do. So that takes away that kind of uncertainty of not knowing what to do, what's most important and which classes I'm falling behind on. So this is a quite big version. I also have this smaller version which is closer to what I use in my own journal. As you can see, I've just filled in all of the assignments so you can see how it would look to fill, filled in. I also use filling them in halfway to kind of show that I've started something but not yet have finished it. Now we're moving on to a deadline tracker. Um, if you're like me and you don't set up months in advance, this can be helpful to just keep an eye on every deadline you have. If it's something that's uh, far into the future, you can just write it down and then whenever you're setting up that month, you can look back on it. This is a really simple spread. You just write boxes for every month and then you just write the date down and it's really simple it's really easy and it helps a lot i also use this because i have a lot of teachers putting deadlines in all different places so i just know where to look when i know i have a deadline coming up this is a class schedule i just wrote in the times wrote in the days and then i filled in the boxes this is just so you i have an overview of the day what it looks like when i have time to do other things and when i need to make sure i eat lunch at the proper times all of these spreads are super easy to set up they're really simple they're really minimal you can put in more decoration and use more color like i use here but at the core, these spreads should be something that helps you first of all and then looks pretty and it should definitely just be easy to look at and you should know immediately what you're trying to look for. This next spread is less practical and more kind of goal setting. I made a spread of all my ideal study habits, things I want to do. I have a quote that says, strive for progress, not perfection, which is very true. I have a list of things I need to do every day that I just want to be reminded of. I have a list of things to remind myself to do in class, like write down my notes, ask questions, those kinds of things, and then some things to remember while studying, and then something general, like to drink water, drink water right now if you've forgotten. So these are all things that you kind of start doing while you're looking at this spread and then eventually, hopefully, you'll build the habit to just do them without looking at them. Next is this study tracker. I'm showing you how I made the easier version, which is just a graph with bars of how much time you spent studying. I don't think you should be hard on yourself if you don't meet your goal of how many hours you're supposed to be studying. I know of myself that I don't study as much I was, as I would like to, but I think it's a good thing to keep track of so you know 
like objectively what you should be doing and what you've done. This is another version of it where I just divided a circle into little pie slices. I just divided 360 by 30 for the amount of days and then I fill it up how high is how many hours you spent. Next is this semester at a glance. I used the left one for myself to kind of know how many weeks I have left until break and how many weeks I have left until I have exams, which is something I tend to easily lose sight of, you know, oh, exams are really far away, I don't have to do this right now, I have time during break to do all my studying, but then weeks go by and you realize, oh, in two weeks I have this and this. So I just find it really useful to just have an overview of the entire semester so I know when everything's coming. This is another view of it. I think this one's prettier, I use the other one, it doesn't really matter. But thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Please comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.